Be thankful for what you have and you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. Those are the words of Oprah Winfrey, who has inspired today's episode. These are short mindset minutes to help you reframe and grow a positive mindset so that you can go into this week feeling amazing. So I want to dig into this quote more because I love it. And it's one of the things that has influenced and impacted my life without doubt. So years ago, and still now, I found myself focusing on lack of time, lack of money, lack of skill, and I even recall saying it over and over and over again, especially the time one. I remember there was a day, I think I counted that I'd said it around 20 times that I didn't have enough time. It was actually driving me insane the amount of times that I was saying it. And I, in that moment, thought, right, this has to stop. And I was doing a lot of mindset work anyway, so I knew the impact of saying that over and over and over again, but I knew that that was the line in the sand, and I decided to stop saying it from that day. And I remember getting some help and trying to figure out, what should I do? And there was great advice, and I can't remember who gave me this advice, to just reframe and say the opposite, even if you don't feel like it. Now, this isn't for everybody, but it really worked for me. And so instead of saying, I don't have time, I don't have time, I just said, I have time, I have time. It's how I spend that time. And that simple shift reframed everything. Now the money thing, it was the same problem. I kept focusing on, I don't have enough money. And I kept saying it over again. I don't have enough money. I can't afford this. Those phrases are damaging because what's happening when we keep repeating them over and over again is we are reinforcing the fact that we are poor, that we can't afford things, that it's the brain then is scared. We don't want to take risks. We don't want to step out of our comfort zone because we are in this like scared phase of money and it's there. We're putting it in the RAS. We can just think about it, see it. We get a bank statement. It escalates because where focus goes, energy flows. So when we focus on, I haven't got money, and we keep saying it over and over again, you're going to start getting bills. You'll see everything that is pouring out of your account. You're just sensitive to it. So what I did there is, again, I stopped saying it, and I stopped saying that I didn't have money, even when, you know, it, it was the truth. And I reframed it, stopped saying it, and instead just went with a positive spin of being grateful for the money that I have. And I had very little cash, very little, hardly any to even survive. But I just was grateful for what I had. I was grateful for the support. I was grateful for the money that I had, even though it wasn't enough. It didn't feel like enough. Now, I didn't say that out loud. (laughs) What I said was, I'm very grateful for the money that I have. And wouldn't it be great to earn more? And like, it's a simple shift. So instead of saying over and over again, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough money, and then fueling this fear, seeing it everywhere, feeling angry, feeling like the world's going to end, it's so stressful, overwhelming, those shifts, the words of a difference and being grateful for the the little that you have, even if it is feeling that way, can make such a difference. Because then when you go from saying, I don't have a studio space, I don't have a studio space, or whatever it is for you, to, I'm really grateful that I have my dining room and I can work on my lap. Wouldn't it be great to have a studio space? That is such a great way of looking at something rather than the lack and the scarcity. Because when we focus on the lack and the scarcity, that is when we see more of it, we get more of it, where focus goes, energy flows. So my challenge to you this week is to think of something that you've been saying over and over and over again that's maybe creating a lack and scarcity and turn it around and show gratefulness and gratitude and open it up to the opposite like wouldn't it be great if I had this I wonder how I could make that happen I hope those words of wisdom help you and I'll see you next week for some more mindset minutes take care bye-bye